the NFL MVP in 2004? Uh, Peyton Manning! Peyton Manning, good job! Nice! nice. Who was the NFL MVP in 1980? Oh. Grandpa! Grandpa! <laughs> Who else was alive in 1980? <laughs> <laughs> the most honored player in the league in 1980, Sight cashed in his nickel and dime reputation and silenced the critics forever. The arm doesn't make the quarterback. My arm is certainly sufficient enough to get the ball where it has to go. What's important to me are the people that are around me. Uh, I've got a good supporting cast. Go! 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 He's out! He's gone! He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. I'm living here in Del Mar, California with uh, my wife, Jerry. Jerry and I have been blessed with six grandkids. I'm coaching the boys up a little bit. I've got them coached up on the uh, passing tree. Oh, it's six! I, I never let them draw their routes on their hands. They gotta give me a number so we know what the, uh, so we're talking the same language. I hope they're learning a lot from their, their grandpa. Uh, we certainly have a, a wonderful family and football is just a part of it. Go Reese, go Reese, Reese is coming, it's Reese, Reese! Oh. They always talk about the Cleveland Browns, want to know about the Cleveland Browns, and now they have a chance not only to see their first pro game, but it's gonna be uh, with the Browns. There's something unique about Browns fans. It's just in their blood. I, I wasn't as recognizable out here. Southern California is just Southern California. But boy, if you ever ran into a Browns fan, it was lights out. Real close friends of ours are the Shirks, Jerry Shirk. Browns fans should remember that name. So anytime anything Browns is happening, we're, we're always with the Shirks. I get asked a lot about why the Cardiac Kids were so special. And um, it's really, it's not an easy thing to explain. But the one thing that was so special about our team, I think, was that late in the games, when we absolutely needed to focus and, and get something done, that's exactly what those guys were doing. I mean, I saw it in the huddle. We could sense it on the sideline. Uh, so much of what happens in, in the last two minutes is, is, you know, they think of all the theatrics and the great plays and great catches and stuff like that. Well, we don't talk about those things in the huddle. What we talk about is just our assignments. You know, let's just do this. All we need is one big play, one or two big plays, and this thing's going to break wide open. And there was absolute focus, and I, I think there was an absolute belief that we could get it done. I've never been around a team that was, was like that, that had that mindset, just a certainty and an understanding about what had to, had to be done. We weren't successful all the time, but um, certainly the fans remember us being successful most of the time. Locked down to 34 seconds. Time to get nervous. Sight throwing to Logan. He got it on the 20, four, five, touchdown, Dave Logan! I think that there was just a confidence that, that somebody was going to make a play. Somebody was going to make a play, and uh, uh, there was no doubt in anybody's mind. I think we realized that uh, you have to take chances in those situations. The guys were comfortable doing that. We would practice for it, and um, we did it. We did it. Hey, another pressure play for Brian Sight. Sight to throw to Newsom, man. Touchdown! Another cardiac finish. Oh boy, oh boy. Waiting for that, waiting for that championship. I'm waiting for the championship. I'm waiting until people can stop talking about the cardiac kids as much as I love them, you know? Let's let's have something else to celebrate. I've been blessed in this life. I want people to know, first of all, who my God is, and then hopefully look at my life and say it's a reflection of that relationship. Um, I also hope everybody understands how grateful I am. Trouble, Dom. Dom, you got trouble. Trouble. Ah, bang. You got to catch that ball. I'm off it. I'm off it.